Mr. Miyagi, and this is Mr. Miyagi's workshop. Well, you can see that we've come a long ways on the Dual Sport XS650. Uh, the initial start of the engine happened uh, yesterday, but I'll even show you what it sounds like now. Now, we haven't started it. It sat overnight, so see if I can get this thing to go. Gas on, choke on. Couple kicks through. Ignition on. Sounds good. started it three different times now. I brought it up to temperature and let it cool down. Brought it back up to temperature again on another start, let it cool down. Started it again, brought it back up to temperature and let it cool down. I did that three times. And that's to help seed all these gaskets and everything in place there. I've gone through and readjusted the car. Let me turn this off. I've gone through and adjusted the carburation on this. I did get a larger carburation kit because we are running uh, the open, more open filters and basically a straight through exhaust. Now this exhaust runs basically straight through but it's perforated and it has uh, a wrapping in here. Hang on a second, let me see if I got something here. So basically I'm building a glass pack. This is uh, fiberglass insulation basically. Um, it's used in exhaust systems. So what I did is I cut it and wrapped it around the tube and wired it and put it back inside. So that's why it's a bit quieter. Uh, I don't want a real noisy bike when I'm out on the trail. I just, you know, I wanted to hear the bike, I want to see what's going on, I don't want to disturb a lot. So that's why it's quiet. I have built these bikes with, you know, basically straight exhaust with a little baffling in the, in the exhaust. And the way I do that is I want a back pressure for the valves to work properly. But you can see that we've come a long ways with it. It's running. Uh, there's still a few things I need to do. I still need to work on the kickstand and a little modification on the center stand. We are going to use the center stand on this bike. I want to use that due to the fact if I'm out on the trail or whatever and I have to change a tire, it's much easier to put it up on a center stand, whether I got to do the front or the rear. Because uh, you can put that down. You could even you can kick the front up and block it and change, take your tire off and fix the flat. Same thing on the rear. It just makes it a little bit easier. I did get the kit set up on here. Be right back. I like these boxes due to the tusk. Bam, they're on. Now there is an internal screw that you can't put on there, so you once these outside locks are locked, there's no way of getting this box off. And I do like that. And they're a good solid. They're not the prettiest box, but I tell you what, I've seen the test. There's a video out there where a guy is literally dragging these on a dirt road, bouncing them and banging them. And the lid and everything still work. 
It's, it was me, that kind of sold me on it. And they're very, 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 very reasonable. If you try to buy the BMW ones, um, they're about a thousand bucks. I paid 360 some odd dollars. Uh, they're from a company in Utah. I don't remember the name of the company, but I will put uh, a scroll across here. Anyway, it's a good company to deal with. I did have to modify these mounts. Now, I ordered that for um, a KLR 650, a Kawasaki. So basically that nothing matched, so I ended up having to cut all the mounts off. I basically wanted this ring, and then I added a support here support on the back and one there and it's not going anywhere they do have a crossover for the rear but it's, it's not going to work for this without a lot of modification so this is where we're at uh, needs to go for a test ride to see if everything is doing um, I did run into a slight problem testing it while well, it went into gear didn't want to go into first gear properly I don't know if I got a little bit more clutch drag or I literally have a problem with the dog on the on the shifting forks. If that's the case, the engine, yes, will have to come out again. I'll have to turn it upside down, pop the bottom off, pull the shifting uh, drum out and figure out what the hell's going on. Normally, it's usually a little bit of drag on the on the clutch. I did order a new clutch um, bearing for the back, um, and we'll see what happens. But right now, I've got to do a test run and whatever, to, and break in the engine. It's running good. I like it. Electric start. I've got to change out the battery on it. The battery was a used battery, and it's just not enough to kick it over. You can see that it doesn't really want to kick it over, but... It does start up pretty easy. Over. I still will replace the battery because I do want to have electric start. If I get in a situation where I can't kick start it, it would be nice to be able to hit the electric start if I kill it. Well, you see that she's running fine now. We got her going. Everything do it. Now she just needs to be test road out there if the weather clears. Uh, we'll do some um, double checking on a few items. Making sure it breaks right, the, the front end is adjusted right, um, definitely whether the transmission is shifting properly. And after that, uh, it's just doing 500 miles, getting the engine broke in. I really appreciate you all watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, this little series. This is probably going to be the last one unless I do a uh, test run video but I think this is pretty much in we're going to move on to a few other uh, videos coming up here um, not sure what those are going to be could be a surprise but anyway thanks again and please like share and subscribe you all have a nice day because this is Mr. Miyagi signing off from Mr. Miyagi's workshop Thank you.